Today I want to show you how you can create loading bar in the Unity. All of these graphics will be available uh, to download for you. I will place the link in the description. So uh, our loading bar will look like that. So when we press play, it will be just fill up with this uh, red background. Okay, so let's get started. I have created a new Unity project and I have created two folders. One is for the graphics, one, if, one is for the scripts. Inside the graphics folder, I have our, uh, my bar frame, bar fill in, and then loading text. So you can find this graphics. Link will be available in the description, as I mentioned before. Uh, the other folder is for the scripts. So we will just need uh, one script for this tutorial. I will create it straight away. So create scripts folder and right click create create C sharp script. So I will call it loading bar. Okay, we will use it in a minute. So first of all, let's create a canvas. So I will right click in the scene hierarchy, UI, canvas. And then I will create empty the game object. So right click on the canvas, create empty. I will call this object lo loading bar. And I will apply our loading bar, bar script onto that object. Okay, so the next thing is we need to create the uh, three images. So right click on the loading bar, UI image. I will call this image uh, bar frame. Okay, and then go to the graphics folder and I will ju just drag and drop this bar frame onto our image source. And I will, I will set the size, uh, the width and the height of this component of this um, re rectangle transform to be the same as the size of the texture. So we will not lose the, lose the aspect ratio. Uh, 1542 by 314. And I will just scale it down by 0 0.5, 0 0.5. We need to uh, add another image. So right, right click on the loading bar, UI image and I will call it fill in okay and we need to apply the, uh, the fill in onto the source image and then we need to say the same size so 148 1408 so it's the size of the texture 213 so the size of the texture you can find it here and then I will set the same scale as the as the as the loading bar frame 0.5 and as you can see it's not placed properly so I will just move it a bit up I think like that you can position however you like so there is one more thing we need should we need to add is uh, our loading text so right click on the loading bar UI image and then I will apply this loading text and we need to send exactly the same the same thing so 759 by 141 and we need to set the scale 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay so we have everything set so now let's click on the fill in and under the image component we need to change the image type from the simple to filled and then the fill method I will change it to be horizontal and then we we can start filling up from the left or from the right is is up to you so if you change this filling amount you will see our our bar is moving if we change the side to the right it's going to move from the opposite direction okay so i will keep it left and then i will set it to zero right at the beginning okay let's save save everything and now open the script our loading bar script so uh, in, inside our loading bar script, we need to create a few pub public variables. So first thing is we need to get the loading bar fill in image. So I will type public transform loading bar loading bar image. Okay. The next thing we need to get the target amount, so it's going to be public float target amount. I will set it to be equal to 100. 
f uh, the next thing will be the speed so public float speed so we can specify from uh, from the editor how fast we want this loading bar to be loading so i will set it to 50 or maybe 30 by default and then the last one will be the private variable so float current amount will be equal to 0, 0.0 f and then i will set this current amount again inside the start method so it will be equal to zero so there is just one more thing to do we need to change our update method so inside the update method i will put if our current amount will be less than the target amount then we want to uh, get the current current amount plus equal our speed times time dot delta time okay so we want to multiply our speed by delta time and then we want to get this uh, loading bar image dot get component we want to get the image component okay as you see the image is not recognized this is because we need to actually use uh, the unity ui so right at the top i will put using unity engine dot ui okay so now we can use the image component and i will just access the fill amount and fill amount will be equal to we cast it to float and will be equal to current amount divide by 100 percent okay so let's save everything go back to the unity and now when we click on the, our loading bar we can see uh, we can we need to actually uh, apply the loading bar image so just grab this fill in image uh, fill in component and then drag a drop on the target uh, on the loading bar image and then we can change the target amount i will leave it as 100 and then speed by 30 so let's just test it our loading bar seems to be working fine so if we modify this amount let's say we want to just have a half loading bar so the loading bar will be stopped at half we can do that also we can change the speed to be let's say 60 so it will be moving much quicker okay or we can slow it down i hope this tutorial was useful for you if you like it please consider subscribing thank you very much for watching and see you again soon